Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In this video I'm going to be doing a try on haul. I bought a bunch of clothing from Shein for the first time and I just wanted to see what they're all about. I've never purchased from them before so I thought why not try them out. Most of the places I purchase online are like Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing and stores like that so I really thought that Shein was just like another Fashion Nova, another Pretty Little Thing but I was wrong, at least price, price wise, because they have some very cheap stuff. They have a lot of cute stuff. You guys have to check them out. And I am filming this for the second time, so I already have some thoughts and opinions uh, formulated about Shein and their clothing. So yeah, I just had some technical difficulties with the previous video, but we're back. So at least I can come back on here and share some more um, in-depth thoughts and not just how cute everything is. So in this video, I'm obviously not gonna be able to unpackage the items in front of you. Maybe I'll throw in a clip from the video I filmed earlier. And yes, I was wearing the same thing because this is what I wanted to wear for the video. But um, everything comes individually packaged in their own plastic bags, which it looks really nice and the idea of it looks very appealing. But I think it's really wasteful. Like every piece of clothing is individually packaged and that's just a lot of extra plastic that we don't need floating around. So when I took the clothes out the packaging, they smelled so bad. They smelled like I jumped in a pool with my clothes on, my clothes on and I just let them dry without washing it and I just smelled like chlorine or something like that. So yeah, I would definitely wash all this clothing before I actually wear it outside the house. Okay, so all the clothes I bought is either in a small or a medium. I think I bought one set in a medium. Everything else is in a small. And usually I wear a size small top and like size three to five pants, jeans. It depends on the store, obviously, because I could wear like a size zero in Old Navy jeans. But then I wear like a size seven in some else. So it really just fluctuates. But normally it's like three to five or four to six kind of deal. And also the clothes that I bought is mostly just casual, loungy, but still kind of cute. Like obviously we're not really going anywhere. So I didn't want to go all out with clothes that I would never wear. But I did want to find some cute things that I can just sit down and film a video in and just feel cute in around the house or wherever the grocery store. So yeah, now let's jump right into this try on haul. This is one of the first pieces that I love actually. It's a butterfly graphic tee. I'll show you guys standing up what it looks like. But this t-shirt is super good quality. It costs $15.30 and I did have a discount for signing up for the first time with my email. I think it was 10% off. So that helped, but this is an oversized tee. It's called the Butterfly and Letter Graphic Oversized Tee. I got it in a size small. Very, very good quality. I wasn't expecting it to be this thick, but I'm not mad at it because I think it was worth it. And if I'm comparing this to other fast fashion kind of online uh, clothing sites, like Pretty Little Thing or um, Misguided or what's the other one? Fashion Nova, of course. I think this is really good price for the quality that I got. So yeah, I don't really know if Shein kind of falls into the same categories as Fashion Nova and Pretty Little Thing and Misguided or do you guys think that Shein is kind of more on a lower level with Zaful? I kind of think Zaful and Shein are kind of like the same and then it might be like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided and Fashion Nova and then whoever, whoever, whoever. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I this next t-shirt I got is also an oversized graphic tee. You guys will see it on me standing up, but it just says, I see you, I see you, I see you in the background. And this one's actually called a letter graphic oversized long line tee. And I bought this one for $12.60. Once again, this one has great quality. It's such a great material and it is way larger than the butterfly one, but it's still really cute. It's just something that I would wear with biker shorts, both of them are just some oversized tees that I would wear with biker shorts, a pair of sneakers or slides, whatever. Just something cozy and casual. Hi guys, so this is me editing the video, but I just wanna say that I deleted the clip of me talking about the jean shorts, but I did like them. I thought they were pretty good quality. Like they weren't the thickest material, but 
I think that these would hold up pretty well. The only thing I didn't like was that they were pretty baggy on me and I personally like my jean shorts to be pretty snug and like fit to my body. And even though these were a size small, they were very loose. And what I thought was interesting is that the next pair of jean shorts that I show you are pretty much the same style, but they were made out of two different materials. So the next ones fit so much better than the first ones. But um, I think I would still wear these. I just don't really love the way that they fit me. And these are called the Button Fly Ripped Raw Hem Denim Shorts and they were $13.50. These next ones that I'm about to show you fit so much better and they are basically the same style but I guess the material is different. It's a little bit more stretchy. And these are some white denim shorts with the same button up details and the distressing on the thighs and the bottom. These shorts are called the Ripped Raw Hem Button Fly Denim Shorts and they were also $13.50. So these fit so much better. They shape my body and they're just much more tighter. They do leave me the gap in the waist, which I don't like. And they're perfect for summer. I love white shorts in the summer or the springtime, especially when you get a tan. It just looks so good on you. The next two items I have are bodysuits. I first have this gray bodysuit. It's a ribbed material with um, some like cross detail right here in the boob area. It's also a really good material. Also got this one in a small and you guys will see it fits me so well. I love the way it makes my chest look. It has button clasp. clasp? So it's easy on and off. This one is called the Lace Up Front Rib Knit Heathered Bodysuit and this one was $7.20. So next I have this black bodysuit and it has some unique straps. One is super thin and the other one's a little bit thick and it kind of crosses over across your, your chest. So it's like an asymmetrical kind of thing. This one's called the Cutout One Shoulder Fitted Bodysuit and this one was $8.10. So this material is way thinner. Um, I think I originally had tried this on without a bra, but I definitely would want to wear at least a strapless bra with this or some pasties because of the material being so thin. It honestly just feels a lot cheaper than the gray bodysuit. It's just a thinner material. And did I say how much this one was? Yeah, this one was $8.10. It was actually more money, which is weird. I would think this one would cost less because the material is thinner and it's just like a lot more flimsier. I don't know. So the next shirt is this mesh crop top it kind of reminds me of china like you know the china that you keep in your china cabinets kind of thing i mean i didn't have china cabinets but some people out there might know what i'm talking about or or have them sitting in their house but um yeah this one's super cute very springtime very summery this shirt is definitely something i would wear with the white shorts i think it goes so well together and this shirt is called the sheer dragon mesh slim top and this one was four dollars and fifty cents which is super cheap but also it's just a piece of mesh i wouldn't expect to pay more than like ten dollars for a shirt like this it's very breathable obviously i'm just wearing a nude bra and you can't see it at all or i would even wear this just with pasties all of the rest of the clothing that i bought is set so um i think i bought a total of 20 three items or 22 items and i paid like 180 dollars and i think that's really good because you can never go to another online fast fashion store and purchase that many pieces of clothing for under 200 dollars like go ahead and try it at fashion nova it's not gonna happen so the next thing i have here is called the letter graphic not front tee and cargo pants set and this is what they look like they're super cute this pretty like soft pink color you guys will see them on me but i love these pants so much and they just say 23 fashion on them and they have these little buckles right here on the cargo pockets as well and they're really lightweight and breathable this is something that you could still wear in the summertime i'm back my eyes are kind of watery because i literally almost died right now <laughs> my throat got so dry and i just could not stop coughing but i'm back and i was saying that these pants are just so breathable they're a lightweight material and it's something that you can definitely wear throughout springtime of course depending on where you live i live on the east coast and 
I could wear these during springtime. And as far as we're looking right now, it seems like it's been pretty cool and it's almost the end of May. So this is the cropped t-shirt that came with it. It says Destiny on it and it has this little V cut. Definitely wouldn't wear this just because it says Destiny. I, I don't know. Like why would I wear a shirt that says Destiny? I just wouldn't wear this. I would just find a regular other white t-shirt to put on with these cargo pants or black. Whatever color I think goes good with the outfit. Okay, So I actually got this outfit in a size medium. So yeah, this set was $17.10. So this set is called the One Shoulder Crop Top with All Over Floral Pleated Shorts and I bought it for $16.20. So yeah, a small definitely would have fit me so much better. I thought I would have been able to pull this off but I just don't like the way it looks on my body. So this was definitely a flop but it was my fault because I should have just purchased a small. For some reason I just assumed that they wouldn't be stretchy so this is the material I thought I would fit better into a medium but I was completely wrong because these are like pleated and the stretchiest material ever. This top is also very thin. It's kind of like a satiny material. It looks a little bit more fancy. It's not just like your regular t-shirt material. So this is a super cute outfit but make sure you get the right size. if. Okay, the next set that I got is super pretty. It's like this mustard yellow color and it has these little stripe patterns on it. And these are the shorts, very loose. And the top is kind of like a kimono kind of crop top thing. It's kind of hard to show you when it's not on my body. So you guys will definitely see how it looks on me. But it's a very thin material. It almost reminds me of like a beach cover-up it's super thin I don't know it just seems like very vacationy and something that I would just slip on on top of my bathing suit at least the bottoms I think this top I could wear with jeans with shorts with anything but the bottoms are definitely too thin for me to just be like walking around and going shopping you know what I mean So this set was called the tie front stripe top and sheared waist short set. So even in the description it says sheared waist short sets because they are super thin. This set was also $16.20 and I got it in a size small. Okay, I have two more sets to try on. This next one is also a really pretty yellow color. This one I would say is like a mustard but super bright. It's more like a neon yellow. It's hard to show you, this is like a, a tie front, so you guys will just see it once it's on me. But this one is also um, super thin. It almost looks orange on camera, but I don't know, it's like an orangey yellow. But this one's also super thin material, it kind of reminds me um, as like a beach cover up or just like a vacation outfit, something that I would just chill on the beach in or you know, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is a super thin material, but I wouldn't say that it's bad quality. I just think it's something that is meant to be worn over something, you know what I mean? You guys might be able to see um, on camera how thin it is and how sheer it is. At least in person, you can see, I have like a thigh tattoo and you can see that through these shorts and also you can just see the tags and everything that's inside. This set is called the tie front sheared back cami top and ruffle hem short set. That was a lot, but this one was $13.50. So this very last set that I have is this beautiful cognac color. It is a ribbed two-piece set it has the paper bag waist pants and I love paper bag waist pants um, it has the asymmetrical crop top here with the one shoulder um, strap this material is very thick it's the thickest of all of the clothing that I got I believe and let's see what this one's called the rib knit one shoulder crop top and paper bag waist shorts I actually got this one in a size medium I don't know why so this one's in a size medium and this one was $12.60 
So yeah, I think the bottoms fit me really good. The top is where I run into a little bit of a problem because it's just too big around the bottom edge, like where your ribs are. Um, definitely if it was a small, it would have fit me so much better. I don't know why I got this in the medium. I really don't know why because I'm looking at this and I don't know why I would have thought these pants would have been too tight. But um, yeah, so everything is good on this one except for the top. And once again, that's just my bad because I should have ordered the right size. Okay, so that is the end of this try on haul. And for my final thoughts, I would say that I think Shein is definitely worth it. First of all, it's super affordable clothes. And for the amount of money that you're paying, I think the quality is very good. Obviously, if I'm buying a $4 shirt, I wouldn't expect this like amazing quality like it was four dollars so i definitely don't think that you're paying too much for what you're going to get if that makes sense yeah let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfit was and if you have shopped at shein before and i think my favorite outfit was the two-piece tie front set you know i'll put the picture right here but i really like that one i like the color of it on my skin and my second favorite thing would have to be the white shorts because those both are just like super summertime and just bright and like happy vibes so yeah that is going to be the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed this one make sure you like and you comment and you subscribe before you go don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you get notified when i do post a new video i appreciate all the love and support that you guys always show me